Then draw. We'll introduce, we'll introduce the, the lecturer. Okay, this we are sharing the screen. So. Okay, this is the presentation that uh, was my, made by, by my colleague, Professor Martinez, and me has a title Real Time System in ICT. We will try to, to give you some basic things that will give you a short introduction to the real time system. So after that, Professor Martinez will continue with more details about the real time system. Uh, the content uh, of the introduction that I will make, uh, make uh, uh, Professor Martinez will continue with requirements the real time systems and uh, what's the, the main point of the of the real time system at the time and the professor will say more details about the, the importance of the real time and real time systems. After that uh, we will continue with modeling of real time systems, uh, give some uh, main important things about Entities, images, and objects that uh, are modeled in real time systems. Uh, after that, uh, we will give, uh, we present the, the possibility of scheduling uh, uh, of uh, operations in real time systems. And uh, real time operating system and development patterns will be after that presented. Uh, also, some developing languages and uh, uh, some points used in real-time system development will be also described. And uh, at the end, uh, some project examples will be presented, and uh, after that, the conclusion will conclude this presentation. As introduction, uh, uh, you probably know that real-time systems are systems that are uh, mainly uh, constrained by, by the time, by the time. The real-time system is an information processing system uh, that is uh, dependent on the time and uh, is a cause response to an external stimulus within a finite on, or a specified period of time. That uh, means that uh, time is very, very important. Uh, the accuracy uh, of execution of operation within the uh, real-time system is not only dependent on the logical position correctnesses, but also uh, on time or the delivery time of the results. However, uh, one thing, sorry, can you give back? No, it's people control. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, However, the response error in the real-time system is more dangerous if the response time is worse. So the, the response time is critical and the error that is uh, 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 condition that is uh, made by, by, the, by the time uh, latency is, is, is uh, more worse than the response time. Next slide. Uh, however, according to deadline that uh, smart system, uh, uh, real-time system should be executed, we can divide real-time system into three categories. Uh, one, uh, first category is real, hard real-time system, second is real, soft real-time system, and third is uh, firm uh, real-time system. The difference is uh, how time is uh, important and uh, when the operation should be executed. Uh, hard real time system is absolutely necessary to complete the, the necessary operation without defined period of time. Uh, one good example of uh, hard real time system is uh, a traffic control system in which all operations should be uh, uh, defined and then executed in the uh, exactly defined period of time. Uh, from the other side, soft real-time systems are not so strict. Uh, the necessary completion time is important, uh, as it is in, in, in a hard-time system, but it, the, the requirements are soft and uh, the time uh, could be, uh, how to say, uh, it is, it is uh, not so uh, important to operation be executed uh, on deadline, but uh, uh, the system will work properly even when the, when the uh, 
operation are executed over the day deadline, but the quality of service that will be given to some uh, operation and some system uh, will uh, lose its quality. Uh, the third uh, type of uh, real-time system is term real-time system. Uh, this uh, type of real-time system has relaxed time requirements, but there is also uh, no concessions in delaying the delivery of system. Uh, more, most uh, of uh, real-time system could be combination of such subsystem, and uh, one part could be uh, realized at hard time system, one part could be realized software real-time system, and maybe some of, of, of subsystems could be realized as the firm <coughs> real-time system. Uh, if we compare uh, hard real-time system and soft real-time system in sense of uh, cost, uh, the cost depends on the time that is required to complete the deadline. And uh, for soft, soft real-time system, uh, time is important. And if we have uh, completion of tax within deadline, there is no penalties. There is no penalties after that. We have rise of the penalties, but it is not so strict as it is in a hard real time system. As you can see here, the real time system had high penalties after the deadline. The deadline is critical for hard, uh, hard time system, but it is not so critical for soft real time systems. Next, please. Uh, when we uh, see into the real-time system, we can divide it into objects that are a controlled system, uh, which are controlled by the computer system and the operator user that is controlling and giving some uh, operations that are necessary for execute some operation in, in, in such a system. Next, please. Uh, we can also model the processes that are executed within the real-time system. Uh, there are some variables that uh, could be uh, set as objects in the object model for processes in real-time system. Uh, here's one example. Uh, first is process name. Process name is name of execution process or task job or activity within the process. Uh, second uh, parameter is uh, TS, that start time and condition one means the condition or event which uh, will process, uh, that, is, that is prerequisite that uh, process can start. Condition for, for starting the process. C is the worst case execution time, or we say. F process is the frequency of process uh, by which the process can be carried out. And finally, TD is deadline. Uh, that's the, the final time we, in which the, the process or operation should be executed. Uh, here are some examples of real-time systems. Uh, on the left side, we have operating environment, which is controlled by control system. Uh, some parameters are taken for, from the operating environment, from, for, from some uh, sensors, uh, the, the values could be digitalized, and uh, as an uh, input for controlling system that is executing some operations, some algorithms to give some, uh, give back some results that are uh, then implemented uh, through actuators and uh, in, in this way, we could control the, the system that is under our control. On the, the right side, uh, we could see uh, the production control system in which uh, the, the entrance in this system are parts that are then controlled by the production control systems. Uh, also, we have some sensors, some actuators by which we could uh, manage the operation within this system. And as a result of this uh, process, of this control system, we get finished products that are under some predefined values and uh, 
controlled by the by the user and production control system. Next, please. And Zaku so, uh, is a representative of hard of hard time systems. We could see the eight traffic control, uh, which is also divided into many parts that uh, control the, the flight of, of the jet plane. Uh, we have on-ground control uh, at the aerodrome and also a tricon control. That's the control which is managed by the airports and uh, en route control which is controlled by the radars from the from the air and from uh, communication satellites in the GPS system. And uh, all these operations are managed by the uh, control system operated within the, some operating system and some, some uh, operation to the computer that control this operation. Uh, this is a hard time, uh, uh, real time system. And uh, in this system, uh, time is critical and radars must monitor every airplane in every 10 seconds. Current position of the plane on his route and uh, uh, every uh, airplane uh, must be updated at least every three seconds. The system response uh, to operator controls must be within two seconds. As we can see, all these uh, times are very, very strict and uh, the very, very hard uh, uh, time is that it is needed for, for uh, control this system or such kind of system. Next, please. The other uh, uh, examples uh, that uh, also have some, some types of uh, real-time system, uh, local plant control, which is uh, which has also some part that have hard uh, control real-time systems, some are soft control. Autonomous driving is uh, also one good example of uh, uh, real-time systems in which we have many, many systems that are controlled to, to, to get uh, answer and to get uh, results within the defined period of time uh, in which most of operation could be could be critical uh, and uh, autonomous driving is dependent on such a system. Traffic control is also one example of real-time system in which we could uh, make some kind of optimization in traffic control, lighting and so on. Healthcare monitoring and support is uh, uh, also very important because we have now many uh, networks, body area networks that control uh, the vital function of the, of the body of the, of the patient. And uh, uh, on these results, we could have some health and monitoring and also support for the medical side for this for this for this people. Okay. And uh, finally, uh, as general characteristics of real-time systems, we could say that uh, this complex could be huge and uh, uh, very complex. Uh, as we uh, saw, the, 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 the system could be divided by the different types of real-time system, which could be incorporated in a, in a global huge system that uh, makes complex operation to, to control some system. Uh, also, simultaneous monitoring of separate system components uh, is additionally uh, complex uh, task that uh, has that has very very important uh, task to, to, to monitor uh, many processes that are that are connected between the system components. Uh, interaction of system components uh, supported by complex card and software solutions. This is also uh, as a consequence of the, this huge and complex system. We should have interaction of system components to get uh, as best as possible uh, coordination between hardware and software uh, components and solutions. Uh, these components, because of their uh, critical 
operations uh, that are dependent on time uh, should be extremely reliable. If we have reliable system, then they be, uh, could have uh, good response and uh, time critical operation will, which will be executed on time. Also, security is uh, uh, very, very important. Uh, all uh, systems now are networked and uh, uh, different types of security attacks and, and uh, cyber security attacks are uh, possible and we should have some security uh, uh, installations and then the uh, processes that uh, could control the, the, the possible, possible attacks. And uh, finally, guaranteed response times is uh, is, a necess is a necessary to have to have uh, or to get the, the, the quality of service that is needed for some operation that are critical uh, in, in time. Okay, uh, that's the part time uh, introduction. After this, uh, Professor Martinovich will continue online. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I believe that, uh, I believe that uh, the sound, sound okay. is okay. You, you can see our, can see our presentation. presentation. And, uh, and uh, I'll try to I'll try manage, manage my, my uh, loudness. Uh, loudness. Okay. okay. Just a moment. Just a moment. Uh, uh, let's try to uh, uh, for, for this, uh, for this uh, 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 introductory uh, part of uh, presentation as uh, our colleagues uh, suggested uh, colleagues from uh, this project we try to uh, prepare one uh, lecture which is uh, mostly like a, a student uh, lecture but uh, i believe that it will be uh, uh, enough uh, interesting, uh, more popular than complicated, because we try to make one uh, abstract uh, our uh, uh, real-time computer systems uh, uh, subject, uh, which is uh, carried out at our uh, master degree study. Uh, I will continue with a uh, short explanation of uh, definition of requirements to real-time systems. Uh, it is uh, determined by our uh, control environment, uh, hardware part of our computer system, and uh, software solution, uh, which especially uh, uh, requires uh, more specific development life cycle, and in other words, more agile, uh, more complex, with uh, uh, special integration and delivery steps in this design and development. Of course, uh, uh, we'll have uh, generally uh, existing uh, uh, steps or activities during this development, like uh, requirements definition, uh, design step implementation in corresponding uh, programming language, uh, program technology and uh, development environment, after that, uh, the testing and maintenance uh, and especially this testing phase is uh, very interesting for uh, all systems which can have real-time components. Uh, for example, timing characteristics of any uh, software solution is a uh, non-functional or mostly uh, performance testing in general. Uh, also, we need to use more specific and more strong procedures 
uh, at the level of uh, uh, static uh, programming code analysis, formal ver verification procedures, and uh, procedures which are defined with more rigorous standards in software development. Uh, basically, we differ uh, two groups or two main activities in functional requirements definition. It is data acquisition. Uh, it is the uh, activity in which our real-time entities can generate real-time images. It is the image of our real world or our real environment. It can be a, a simple signal acquisition from many sensors. It can be a monitoring of alarms, alerts, and other more event-driven activities. The second group of uh, functional requirements can be described by uh, digital control from industrial environment vehicles to social networking and any other group or environment of our uh, activities, which can be hard, soft, or firm defined uh, in this timing manner. Uh, this digital control phase uh, is typically uh, described with uh, uh, control loop timing parameters like uh, delay of control object, rise time of our uh, real-time entity, which is uh, observed, necessary sampling period, computer delay because our uh, uh, machines are not uh, with no, not necessary with uh, unlimited uh, uh, performance metrics, jitter of this delay, dead time, and uh, some other uh, parameters. It is very interesting that we can say general control loop for any software solution, or we can say human in the loop for the more uh, cyber physical systems in which it is not necessary to differ activities carried out by human or by our machines or our uh, control algorithms. In addition to these uh, functional requirements, of course, we need to uh, obtain high level of reliability, safety, maintainability, availability, and security, as Professor uh, Jagger mentioned. If we compare hard and soft real-time systems regarding most important characteristics. For example, we can say that response time is hard or soft defined. For example, uh, I will not uh, explain all of these details regarding of our uh, time frame, but for example, if we have hard real-time system, 
uh, we can use usually small or medium data sets or files in soft real time system we will have more time to manage use analyze and decide from larger data sets it is similar with any other parameter uh, for example our system can be only with active redundancy if it's hard real time defined or can use some other uh, time uh, uh, in timing manner not very limited procedures like uh, checkpointing recovery self healing procedures and so on and in hard real time systems only very active very fast approaches are acceptable uh, first of all uh, this so called four dimension of our uh, cognition of the physical world is this time it is a category which can allow you to manage to order to classify different events in time instance uh, finally it is uh, more important that this time scale allow us to measure to use to interpret to predict or to uh, make mutual relations between different activities in our computer system which is in general uh, the object or set of objects which can represent images of our real world you know for these images from uh, einstein uh, definition of uh, the time from uh, uh, stephen Hawking, hawking's uh, interpretation of the time and many other interpretations of the time in the space which uh, is not necessarily uh, uh, described by linear coordinates mostly real time systems or computer science in general use the time uh, as such general coherent variable in orientation regulation coordination and these three activities are very important in all services which uh, which can be used in our today's solutions of uh, mobile web or embedded solutions in our products our set of services uh, other side of the problem is that we need to introduce different types of timing orders in our systems first and uh, uh, very close to our today's activities is a timing continuous order or so-called normal uh, timeline 
with continuous and regular uh, distances between con uh, continuous uh, time instance. Uh, the second type of timing order is causal order. Uh, and uh, if uh, you analyze uh, new approaches in data analysis, this part of activity is or will be very important because it is necessary not only to order our activities, our events, but to make decision about uh, causality between all activity in our in general complex computer solu solutions for real time or other very complicated set of services. And of course, delivery order is one indicator how our previous activities in the system can determine time of order of our uh, service or final product or any other activity in our environment. Uh, we know that uh, physical clocks have many limitations. They are defined by drift, offset, limited precision, accuracy, and the same situation is with uh, computer time. And so uh, time measurement is limited with these timing indicators of uh, quality of, for example, real-time clock in our computer system. Uh, in addition to these requirements, we differ, for example, more sparse or more dense timing basis. For example, if we need more uh, time instances to define the value of our uh, continuous variable, it is then dense time. In other situation, it can be more sparse time. And our time is very necessary component in any type of synchronization in our systems. It can be internal, external, or combined. And uh, in near future, in 5G, in any other technologies, in which we have very uh, fast communication, we will probably not avoid or minimize the importance of this synchronization problem. Uh, prior to our uh, implementation, we need to model our real-time system and most important things or elements in this modeling is uh, opportunity to physical time recording, definition of duration of tasks, jobs, activities, and activation frequency from this object model of processes, computing processes. Uh, this activation frequency can describe uh, nature of our tasks in time scale. 
they can be periodic, a periodic or mixture of such tasks. Uh, because we need to uh, to uh, use the time in the system more rational, more uh, careful presentation details and different transformation details are not most important things in real time systems modeling. Uh, regarding necessary structural elements of our real time systems. We can list. Our activities. Described by tasks. Necessary computational nodes. Because our computer system which can support real time behavior of our applications and services is distributed. We need to specify types and requirements to different interfaces between our component of the system. We need to determine that some of our entities can be treated or considered as time triggered and some other more probably probabilistically defined activities can be treated or considered like event triggered activities or tasks. We need to uh, handle with uh, interrupts because it is uh, the way how we can serve uh, external requirement to our system and we need to use so-called trigger tasks which are only by uh, function tasks which uh, make observation of our controlled environment. In addition to this uh, details necessary for uh, uh, good uh, real time systems modeling, we need to analyze worst case execution time. If it is possible, we can measure it, but all environment are uh, or all in environment are not very practical to enable measurement of these characteristics. Uh, we can use probability approaches or probability statistical uh, statistical analysis of these parameters or use timing analysis tools and approaches which can uh, determine or detect all parts of our algorithmic or software solutions and which can find more critical paths of execution of our program. According to this analysis, uh, uh, we have additional opportunity to, for example, increase computer performance or to decrease this unnecessary level of activities in this more time consumptioning parts of our solution. In this modeling stage, we can use this very simple informal approaches like state diagrams, 
descriptions and so on, which are also very important, but more formal approaches uh, require, for example, any modeling language like UML, which can uh, consider use cases, sequences or our, our activities, timing diagrams. Other solution is to use Petri nets or finite state machines or any other combination of approaches. For example, we can use modeling language to model and define all activities necessary for implementation car infotainment systems or to use Petri nets for modeling of in, the, in this case uh, general service or in real cases very specific service definitions in in which we can uh, influence timing behavior of our solution. After modeling phase, it is necessary to, to choose appropriate development environment, programming languages, to use uh, appropriate algorithms and software solutions which will be not at highest level of complexity if possible. It is also necessary to analyze our computer environment or architecture and to define in which mode or working mode list of necessary operations are appropriate or timing very complicated and can decrease the performance of our system. Uh, after or during this modeling phase, it is necessary that we differ real-time entities, real-time images and objects. For example, real-time entity is something like state variable which can we see in our real world. For example, elevator position, number and positions of cars on the road, number of people at some critical events and so on. These entities will be transformed in our uh, computer system in real-time or RT image and it is necessary that the value of this physical parameter or entity will be in timing manner appropriate or correct. Uh, Real-time objects are different parts of our hardware and software solutions which can enable joining real-time clock parameters or timing parameters to our activity and to transform from entities to images, from images to entities and to allow us to execute our procedure of control to our real-time environment. 
this timing accuracy of the image we can describe like a history of, of observed uh, values in one time frame and this picture can show you that uh, we cannot avoid this difference in timing uh, uh, or in time scale between RT entity and RT image. And uh, this expression uh, can show you that this error between value of RT entity and RT image depends strictly on velocity or speed of change of our considered RT entities. And if we have enough time to deliver this result, we are not in problem. Our error is very small and cannot affect uh, or worse our final result. Uh, additional very important component in real-time systems design is uh, resource management because we need to start with uh, this fact that our computing environment has a limited performance regarding uh, uh, computing, regarding communication part, or regarding uh, potentially very specific uh, requirements in specific situations, especially in hard real-time systems. And we can differ our approaches in resource management, which is in general uh, from operational research scheduling problem, we can differ hard and soft or firm approaches. We can differ uh, static or dynamic algorithms, preempt preemptive or non-preemptive approaches because we can or cannot preempt, break the flow of our activity. Also, it is very important to uh, know uh, are our uh, tasks dependent or independent? Do we have a single or multi-processor, multi-core, multi-computer systems? And which types or groups of algorithms we can use for our solution? We can use uh, exact so-called enumerative algorithms, but uh, because scheduling problem can be NP hard problem in general, or for many situations. We can use also approximation approaches or different types of scheduling heuristics. Uh, let me show you that uh, all our activities can be described or presented by different tasks. In general, we differ periodic, a periodic and a periodic tasks with hard deadlines, so-called sporadic tasks. Uh, this red colored uh, periodic tasks are described by ready time or start time, end time, execution time or more determined 
worst case execution time, deadline, and period. But all our activities in the system are not very periodic. You know that all activities which can be described like uh, periodic activities can allow us a uh, more efficient handling of these activities. Uh, another part of activities are uh, a periodic tasks which are described by execution time but and also but, uh, uh, with uh, uh, ready time or start time but this start time is more stochas stochastic category and can be described by statistical distributions, not exactly with the timing instant at the timeline. Uh, uh, considering this uh, reality, uh, a periodic tasks are described with the parameter called inter-arrival time. It is minimal time between uh, appearance of two or more activity activities at the timeline. We also need to use different so-called scheduling metrics which can define uh, different criteria for our scheduling procedures. First of all, we need to use uh, the measure processor or processing element utilization. It is the ratio of execution time and period. Uh, following this expression, necessary scheduling criteria is that this utilization is equal or less than one or 100 percent. Also, we have different additional schedulability criteria, which are the basis to define appropriate scheduling algorithms. Uh, first of all, we try to use a simplified heuristic approaches uh, because in general we have very limited time span to use our scheduling algorithm to find more appropriate or near optimal solution of the order of our task, uh, our task set execution. If we speak about uh, dependent tasks, we can use so-called kernel mon monitoring procedures or, for example, priority ceiling protocol for multiprocessor or multi-core environments. In general, we can obtain uh, good results with search tree analysis algorithms or many other shorter, more efficient, but generally not very strong approaches. Uh, uh, well known and uh, mostly standardized procedures for scheduling of periodic tasks are, for example, rate monotonic scheduling. The scheduling is carried out 
according to task period. Earliest deadline first, in which we can schedule or make order of tasks uh, considering the deadline and least laxity in which laxity or difference between period and worst case execution time can be used. Because our real problems are mixture between periodic and aperiodic activities, uh, we need to try to catch the requirements of these aperiodic tasks and uh, these algorithms, which are also very often uh, standardized in, I in different IEEE standards, uh, we try to prepare so-called server tasks, which can enable additional capacity to uh, process or to serve our periodic tasks because this category of tasks are or can be very important and we need to statistically enable enough capacity for potentially hard real time processing. We differ, for example, polling server, deferrable server, priority exchange server or sporadic server. Uh, like very standardized approaches for a periodic task scheduling. After this scheduling procedure and for further analysis, we need to use different evaluation parameters or measures like response time. What is response time? Uh, we can use uh, original uh, name for this criteria, for example, response time, or we can discuss that it is in uh, some other systems and applications, for example, very good indicator for user experience or response to our request in infotainment, in mobile technologies and so on. We also use uh, mean response, response time criteria for uh, uh, huge sets of tasks. After that, utilization like uh, ratio between execution time and period can imagine the level of efficiency of usage of our system and can suggest us do we have any additional chance to additionally load the system and uh, third from this most important parameters for evaluation of scheduling is number of tasks with missed deadlines regarding this, this very simple criteria. Uh, during different simulation tools, we also have one uh, self-developed uh, tools. We can simulate and suggest the changes of configuration or settings of our system in real-time systems solution. Uh, because ele elementary uh, or uh, simple units of, of our activities in real-time systems are in general threads, uh, mostly threads hosted in our computing processes. Uh, this part of uh, programming code 
only suggest or present that it is necessary to define number of threads, uh, rule or algorithm of scheduling, and to define some other uh, conditions which can suggest us that our system is very successful or we need to introduce any additional improvements to our algorithm or to any other part of the system. Uh, for uh, this highest level of development or for uh, highest level of requirements in real-time systems, we need to use general purpose operating systems with different extensions, or we need to use professional uh, real-time operating systems and development environments. For example, very general environments, for example, are Windows CE, Windows Embedded, Lynx OS, RT or real-time Linux, or for very specific, very complex solutions, we need to use, for example, QNX, WindRiver Linux, Interval Zero platform, or any other specific project management environment which can increase our efficiency in development of real-time systems or cyber physical systems or any other approaches like Yocto, Open WRT, or some very specific and custom made solutions in pharmacy, in industry, in uh, biomedical solutions, and so on. Uh, also, it is necessary to take care about programming language, which can be more appropriate for our solution. If our requirements are determined with soft real-time parameters, we can use Objective C. We can use very simplified embedded solutions which can uh, allow us to have one efficient but not very hard real time defined system. For example, Objective C, C, C. Go or some other language will be acceptable. If we need to develop very complex and hard real time defined solution, probably we need to use some of reactive languages like SRL, some new version of ADA, real-time Java, or very limited C++, C++ environment in which we need to control memory consumption and to exclude 
any additional influence of compiler which can enable us uh, simplified development but which can decrease the performance of our programming code in final real-time product. Uh, our uh, own uh, development environment are based in Croduino, Raspberry, BeagleBone and some other architectures from virtual reality, biomedical applications, drone applications, especially in agriculture, mobile measurement platforms, smart energy, and so on. It is necessary at the end to point out that many of our uh, commercial or everyday solutions in ICT have more or less real-time behavior and components. Uh, more complex solutions are typically in cyber physical systems, IoT, very complex embedded solutions in data analysis and some other areas in which we need to take care about timing properties of our solution. This set or list of requirements to real-time systems require uh, appropriate development environment, modeling procedures, resource management or scheduling algorithms, but also final implementation or deployment and testing procedures. All things you can say that all software solution or all applications are in real time, but it is necessary to differ real real time systems in traffic control, in biomedical solutions, in uh, real time stream analytics, uh, a prediction of very dangerous situation and so on from ICT solutions which are okay regarding the uh, response time but this response time can be obtained very uh, sim uh, uh, very simple with very simpli simpli simplified uh, requirements to the systems. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your attendance and uh, we are open for possible questions or discussion. Lipet, please could you unmute? So if you have any question, please ask. <laughs> I take the role of moderator. <laughs> okay. Good, 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 good. If there's no question, thank you very much.
Have a nice day in Valencia.